What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchUpEssentials.com back with another SketchUp extension modeling tutorial for you. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about how to report outdoors using the reporting function inside of SketchUp. And to do this, we're gonna use components from the Flex Tools component library. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so by the way, this method will work for other doors and windows as well. Um, one thing that's going to be really important, though, about the way that we're going to do this is you need to be making use of the outliner over in your tray. So this is something that's really going to work with SketchUp Pro. Um, you can get access to the outliner in the free online version, but this is really more targeted towards the Pro version. And so what we want to do is we want to take these items that we've added in here. So you can see how Flex Tools adds these with the different names, right? Flex hopper, flex window, all of that. Um, and those are great. Um, those work fine for letting you know what window they are, but I want to go in and I want to adjust these because we're going to report them out and we need to make sure they contain the proper information. So what I want to do is right now, if you look at this flex hopper window, you can see how inside of the component section, it has a definition as well as an instance name. And so the way that we usually do this is usually a component is something that we use to name the kind of window this is. So in this case, for example, I would say this is going to be three foot or four foot by four foot hopper window, right? So basically what I'm doing is I'm just changing the definition of this item inside of SketchUp and that shouldn't affect the actual window itself. Note that the description is not dynamic, so it's not just going to change when we change the size of our window. But I like to I like to label my windows with the size because I want them to show up with the size inside of my report. But then the other thing we need to do, so we need to go through and we need to rename all of those windows with the proper sizes. And then I'm also going to do the same thing with the doors, right? So like this door, for example, I'm going to change the definition to three foot zero inch by seven foot zero inch high door, All right? And notice how, because I have multiple copies of this particular door in here, that this changed along with this one because we're changing the component definition name. And so I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna rename all of these and then we can talk about what to do next. All right, so now if you look at this, these are all in here and you could put the, if you wanted to, you could also put the sizes afterward. But now what we need to do is we need to organize these, right? Because we're gonna have to report them out based on the groups that they're in. And so the issue with these though, is if you put them all in a group, which is the way that we usually do this. So if you select them all, right click and click make group, notice how you're losing the cutting functionality of these doors. So in this case, we're not actually going to group the doors and windows, we're just going to label them individually. Okay, and so now you might have noticed that each one of these still doesn't have an individual identifier, right? So they have like an overall type, but they don't have an identifier. And so what we want to do to change that is we want to go into the instance name and we want to add something. So in this case, for example, this is going to be an A01, right? Because that's going to be door number A01. And so what that's going to do is that's going to give us both a component definition and also a name. And that's going to be helpful when we schedule this out later. So then we can do an A02, A03, A04. So that gives us all of our doors. Now we need to do the same thing for the windows. So for the windows, I'm going to make this W01. Notice how when I add a W in here, because the way the components work is whoops, these are sorted alphabetically. So notice how these are naturally going together. And unfortunately we can't group them, but um, we can do this. So we're gonna do a W03, W04, W05. And this goes a little bit against what I usually teach because I do usually want you to group these, but with the flex doors being cut components, um, we can't do that and maintain the cut through the openings. Um, if you were to do the openings manually, then you could group this the way that we've done it before. But now what we want to do is we want to run a report, right? So the report is how we're going to get this information organized and into something that we can use in something like a layout. So the way that we're going to do that is we're going to use the report function. So the generate report function, report function is under file, generate report. 
And what this is going to allow us to do is this is going to allow us to actually report out items in our um, based on their groups. And so what we want to do is we want to create a new template. And in this situation, we don't want to report the entire model, right? We only want to report these doors. So we're going to click on current selection instead of entire model. And so what we want to do is we want to select our doors like this. So what that means is that means that'll report out anything that's selected in here. And so then we can add some things to show up in our report, right? So you can add your definition name, your entity name, and your quantity, for example. If there was other information in here, you can add that too, but we're gonna go ahead and leave this. And so what we could do right now is we could click run the report, but the problem is you're gonna get all sorts of stuff in here, right? Because one thing about flex tools and a lot of door groups is there's a lot of stuff inside of them, right? And so what we wanna do is we wanna limit this to only the first level, right? So the first thing that we have in here. So we wanna change this from all to just a value of one. So when we change it to one, what that's going to do is that's only going to look at the top level of the way things are grouped and only report those things out. So if we were to click on report, what that would do is that's going to report out your entity name, your definition name, and your quantity. And so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to move my entity name up. And then let's say that we also wanted to include our windows. Well, we could just go into our outliner and just select all of these windows and then run this report. And so when we run this report, we can click on the entity name to sort by the entity name alphabetically. And we have a report that shows all the doors that we have here as well as all the windows. And so you can then take this and you can download it. Now it's gonna download as a CSV file and then you can bring it into like layout. Let's go ahead and let's save this. So we're going to, we'll find our folder and then we'll just name this door window schedule. And so it's going to ask if we want to open it now. If you say yes, it's going to open in your spreadsheet viewing software. So for me, that's going to open up in Microsoft Excel. But see how what you have is you basically have a spreadsheet in here that you can then import into um, layout. And so one thing you're going to do with that is we're, we're going to want to sort these, right? We want to sort them by column A because we want these to be in order. So we're just going to select them, do a sort and filter, custom sort, sort by entity name. And what that'll do is that'll put those in order by entity. So I'm covering this more extensively in the layout section that I'm currently working on for the SketchUp Essentials community, um, which I will link to in the notes down below. But if you just want to bring this in and start working with it in layout, you can just do a file insert inside of layout. You can find your schedule. So in this case, my door window schedule file, and I can bring that in. So when I bring that in, Notice how it's got all my entities in here. They're organized the way that I organize them in Excel. And then I can adjust my formatting within layout itself. So like I said, there's going to be a little bit more information about this in my community pretty soon. Um, but if you're just looking to bring this information in from inside of Excel, you can do it this way. So that should give you a pretty good idea of how you can organize things inside your model and then export them to reports. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.